much for joining me. I'm Jill Bloom, group publisher of Roofing Supply Pro, and so excited to have you here. I'm honored to be joined today with Tammy Clark, the, who is an industrial hygienist and occupational and environmental health and safety professional of Tammy K. Clark Companies. Tammy, thank you so much for joining me. Well, hi, Jill. Thanks for having me. It's great to be back with you. It's great to see you too. Well, there's so much that you do, but first, before we even get started, can you tell everybody a little bit about yourself? Sure. So I am an occupational and environmental health and safety professional. And what that means is that I work in the worlds of health, safety, and compliance, uh, working with lots of different industries, helping to keep companies safe, uh, employees safe, and the companies compliant with different regulatory agencies uh, requirements and standards. So um, I really do a lot of work in the construction industry with lots of different uh, trades organizations, but um, I have specialized in construction over the last 20 years, even though I do work with hospital systems and food processing plants, things like that. So uh, my world is all about health, safety, and compliance. Well, I know that roofing is your favorite, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I work a lot with roofing contractors. Yes, I know you do. It's hard not to love the roofing industry. So, well, Tammy, first, thank you so much for writing that great article that everyone's going to be reading shortly in Roofing Supply Pro. And there's some great nuggets of information about training your drivers and how to set up a deli delivery. But what I want to take a minute today and to complement that is let's talk about the top, top mistakes that you see distributors make when it comes to deliveries. What are those mistakes that are easy to make that are also easy to fix? What would you suggest to all the distributors out there? Yeah, so that's uh, that's easy for me because I'm on a lot of jobs doing audits and inspections and I see a lot of deliveries. Uh, when it comes to roofing distributors, roofing uh, deliveries, there are some very specific things that will catch my eye and are concerning. And I will uh, sometimes have to talk with the driver about and try to get them to be compliant for safety reasons. Number one is set up. Uh, when a driver pulls up, whether it's, you know, with an articulating boom, knuckle boom type of a truck, a crane, whatever it is they're using to deliver those materials, first and foremost, they have to be very cognizant of their setup. And what that means is where are they parking? Um, what is going on around them? Are there overhead lines within 20 feet of where they will be delivering? Um, are there areas of points of access and egress which they will be swinging or lifting overhead that they need to make sure they have caution zones? They need to set up a caution zone so that while they're doing their lifting uh, overhead, there's nobody underneath. Even if it's to a multi-story type of project, um, you can't be delivering overhead when there is people working underneath, even on stores, uh, the floors underneath. And so many delivery, um, you know, drivers, delivery uh, personnel do not have this training and they're not aware, they're not cognizant of the fact that they're in a very dynamic setting with a lot of other trades, lots of moving parts and pieces and the safety aspects of proper setup. So that's number one. Um, number two would be know your uh, delivery area, know your space, know your client. Who are you going to deliver to? Is this a uh, small residential contractor? Is this just a home uh, where you need to figure out where to park on the road? Obviously, you don't want to park in the customer's grass and tear up their yard. Um, if you have to do so, do you have plywood? Are we going to make you know appropriate um, proactive plans for that? If you have to park on the street, you need to make sure you have your proper caution cones, and that's a DOT requirement. Um, and a lot of the drivers, they don't understand that. And they, they're not doing that. So um, uh, you need to also be aware, what if you're going into a commercial project? I have had to deal with drivers so many times who hop out of their trucks in their shorts and tennis shoes, no PPE, no hard hats. And they just, you know, many times the drivers will um, get out of their truck or whatever for a little while, walk around. That, and I'll have to go, whoa, 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 this is an active commercial construction project. You can't be walking around here with no PPE, um, et cetera. So make sure that the drivers are fully trained for whatever setting, uh, whatever space their client they're delivering to, that they understand that. Um, and then number three would be the lifting zone itself. So what are we lifting around? What are we lifting under? What is underneath us? What is around us? So proper setup proper PPE, know your client, and then the lifting zone itself. What are the hazards and the dangers to be aware of that they need to print a plan proactively for where they're actually going to be staging? 
What, where is the staging area? We cannot block access and egress roads for emergencies. What's going on around us? What dangers with utilities? Things like that. These are things that most drivers are not trained on. And I really struggle when I'm on uh, a project for, say, a roofing contractor and their delivery personnel is doing this, right? So it's those are the things, those are probably the top things to yeah. be aware of and to train your drivers on. Excellent points, Tammy. Thank you so much. And I know we're going to be talking a lot more about that as time goes on. But uh, in the meantime, if anybody has any questions for you, what's the easiest way to get a hold of you? Uh, well, right now, just email me, tkhclark at gmail.com. I'm going to make it really simple. Uh, email is the best way to get a hold of me. My phone blows up constantly, so I'm not giving my phone over. But <laughs> feel, free send, feel free to send me an email. Um, yeah, yeah and great. that's the best thing to do right now. Um, and I can help answer questions or set up trainings or whatever you might need help with. Sounds great. Thanks so much. And if anybody has any questions for you, it's roofingsupplypro.com. And while you're there, make sure you sign up for all our free content so you can stay up to date on our great videos and podcasts we're doing, just like the one today with Tammy. But most importantly, stay safe, stay healthy, and we can't wait to talk to you soon. Thanks so much, Tammy. Thank you. Thank you.